Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If we've never met before, my name is Chelsea and I make videos on fashion, beauty, and travel. Today's video is going to be all about all of my recent hair care empties. These are products I've used up that I have formed an opinion on that I want to share with you guys. There's a good mix here of products that were sent in PR, but also products I've purchased myself and products I've used for years on end. If you guys haven't already noticed, I am doing Vlogtober this month. I'm doing videos five days a week, Monday through Friday, here on my channel. I hope that you'll subscribe down below, and without further ado, let's get into my hair care empties. So I would say these products have been accumulating for the last six or so months, possibly longer. And I want to start off with Batiste Dry Shampoo. And I actually ran out today, um, hence the greasy roots and like day two, day three hair. Batiste is one of the most mentioned hair care brands on my channel. I am absolutely obsessed with their dry shampoo. I know some people really can't handle the white cast it gives, but they do have tinted versions and it really does absorb the oil and that's why I love it. And they have so many great scents. So their PR team actually sent me a couple new scents to try. I absolutely love the blush scent and the sassy, daring, and wild scent. So the floral one and the leopard one. Those are my two favorites. So they sent these three over and I absolutely loved all of them. This one is Pretty and Delicate Rose Gold. I was afraid this was going to be tinted like a metallic rose gold, but it wasn't. It's the original formula. The scent is just called Rose Gold. This one is Bold and Enchanting Naughty. Very fun packaging with the lips. And then Sweet and Charming Nice. So in terms of scent, I really enjoyed all three of these. Nice has like a vanilla musk scent to it. Rose Gold's a little more sugary sweet. And Naughty. I don't even know how to describe this one, but I will link them down below. Batiste really has the best dry shampoo out there. It's also often on sale at Ulta for buy one, get one 50% off. So I love to stock up. I can't be without this stuff, and I'm definitely going to go pick some of this up later today. I recently tried this dry shampoo by Garnier Fructis. This is the Pure Clean Dry Shampoo. There are no silicones, and there's no visible residue. It's an instant fresh feel. It's supposed to refresh and give you instant oil absorption. I really enjoy this dry shampoo actually. It's a lot lighter than Batiste and I would say that it gives you significantly less buildup and residue in your roots. It's a lot lighter than Batiste so if you don't need as much oil absorption, this is a great option. Of course, Garnier, again, super accessible and affordable. Alright, so the next empty is the classic original Moroccan oil treatment. I love this stuff so much. I am so minimalistic when it comes to my hair care routine. I like a nourishing oil or kind of like an all-in-one product that can help detangle, defrizz, protect my ends, and so on and so forth. This is one of those cult beauty favorites that is a favorite for a reason. So I'll link my blog post on this down below that I did last year in collaboration with Moroccan Oil, but I truly love this stuff. And if you only want to get one product just to nourish and pamper your hair, I would recommend getting this one. You can't go wrong with Moroccan Oil. And they even have it in a small travel size if you want to try it before committing to the full bottle. So I have a couple different toning shampoos. I want to start off with this one. This is the Not Your Mother's Blonde Moment Treatment Shampoo. And I found this at Target. Being a beauty blogger, I'd say it's very, very rare that I buy a product without looking at some kind of review or online content related to the product before purchasing. So with this one, I totally bought on a whim. I was in Target, I needed a purple shampoo. And because I double shampoo in the shower, I go through shampoo quite quickly. So I wanted something affordable. And since I didn't look at any reviews, I wanted something cheap, so it was low risk. So this is supposed to neutralize brassiness, gently cleanse, and enhance shine. It's for natural and color treated blonde hair shades. It's sulfate and paraben free. So I love the scent of this. I thought it was a great toning shampoo and it lathers just fine for being sulfate free. I tried a handful of products from this brand, but all of them I've really loved. Like I really like their dry shampoo, the unscented formula. It is really good. So yes, love this. You can find it at Target. So several months before I discovered the Not Your Mother's Blonde Moment Shampoo, I was using this one. Um, this is a blue shampoo, so same kind of concept as a purple shampoo. So this is by Joico. This is the Color Balance Blue Shampoo. It's supposed to eliminate brassy orange tones on lightened brown hair. It is a vibrant cobalt blue color. It definitely lifts the brassy tones out of my hair. It's got this really fun fruity scent. I don't know if it's because it's blue, but in my mind, I think blue raspberry, it's kind of got that fruity kind of vibe to it. I think Joico has great products. However, I found a cheaper alternative that's doing me just fine. I think a blue shampoo is worth trying, but uh, you can get by with just a purple one from the drugstore. So, yeah. Another repeat hair care product that has been mentioned literally hundreds of times on my channel is the Ever Strong Sulfate Free 
thickening shampoo. I love this shampoo. So it's got this like rosemary juniper scent to it. I find it really invigorating and quite cleansing for my scalp without being stripping. I just find this is a great product as my first shampoo to kind of break up all the buildup on my scalp, really cleanse my scalp and my hair and get all that product out. And then afterwards, I will either use this a second time or go in with my purple shampoo. It just depends on how I'm feeling about my hair in that particular wash. And again, despite being sulfate free, it has a really rich, luxurious lather. I love the scent. I love everything about this. A 10 out of 10 would recommend this shampoo. Love Beauty and Planet recently sent me some products to try. So I'm trying a couple products from this Maru Maru Butter and Rose range. This is the shampoo that's geared towards color treated hair. So this product does contain SLS if that's a problem for you. I totally understand. Um, but this is a very affordable drugstore brand that's also vegan. It says it's safe for color treated hair. There's no silicones, no parabens, etc. They use recycled uh, materials in their packaging. So it just depends on what you're looking for. I found this was a really great shampoo. Again, I would use it in the same way as my L'Oreal Everstrong. Use it as a first cleanse and sometimes a second cleanse. I would say when it comes to the body wash, which was in my last favorites video, versus the shampoo conditioner, I definitely prefer the body wash, but the shampoo is actually pretty good in my opinion. It just depends on if you're trying to avoid sulfates or not. I mean, other than the sulfates, the ingredients are pretty good. So check this out. It's a new brand. You can find it at Target. So I used up these two products from John Frieda's Sheer Blonde range. I know this is like a cult beauty favorite. I thought these products were okay. I didn't see like noticeable differences in my hair. This is the Go Blonder Lightning Shampoo and the Go Blonder Lightning Conditioner. I thought this duo was good, but it didn't blow me away in terms of lifting my color. I didn't really see any significant difference. I feel like the only time I see a significant difference is really when I use a purple shampoo or I go to the salon. I probably won't be repurchasing these, but I think they are worth trying. And last up, I have the L'Oreal Paris El Vive Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. Okay, so question. Every time I see a commercial for this, they call it El Vive. But every time I hear a YouTuber talk about it, it's El Vive. Not really sure which one it is, but in any case, this is actually like a reformulated hair mask that L'Oreal had like ages ago. It had the same name minus the El Vive branding. It was the Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. This is a very thick and nourishing hair mask. It has almond and protein and ceramides in it. So this is one of those products where like I'm not really sure if the product is coating my hair or really repairing it. You never quite know. I see that this one does not state that it's silicone free, but at the same time, it has some pretty good ingredients in it. After using this, my hair was noticed to be smoother, shinier, easy to brush through. My biggest concerns are my ends and detangling because I have such fine, tangly hair. In terms of accessibility and affordability, this definitely ticks those boxes. But on the other hand, in terms of ingredients, not so sure. So if you're somebody who struggles with just manageability of your hair, and you have some serious damage going on, I would definitely recommend checking this one out. All right, you guys, so that's a wrap for my recent hair care empties. I hope you enjoyed it. Although I am low maintenance with my hair, I can be picky about hair care products. So hope these reviews were helpful. I have shoppable links down in the description box below if anything piqued your interest. If you have any hair care favorites, definitely leave them in a the comment down below so I can check them out. And lastly, I am doing Vlogtober this month, so I am publishing new videos every single weekday, Monday through Friday, here on my YouTube channel. Subscribe so you don't miss a future upload. So I hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are, and I'll see you very soon in my next video.